Now we can discuss the Chick Martin test, which is used to determine phenol coefficient. This test is more realistic because the reaction takes place in the presence of controlled amount of organic matters in the form of standard suspension of yeast cell to evaluate the effect of presence of organic matters, which will usually reduce the activity of many disinfectants. So this method is to overcome the disadvantages of Rydal Walker test in which we are not using any organic matters. And the test organism which is used for Chick Martin test is Salmonella typhi and Staphylococcus aureus. And incubation condition is same as that of Rydal Walker test that is 37 degrees Celsius for 48 to 72 hours. And reaction temperature is 20 to 30 degrees Celsius in case of Rydal Walker test. And exposure time is 30 minutes. And here we are taking sample in duplicate or in two tubes. So thereby we can overcome the limitations or disadvantages of Rydal Walker test. Now the Chick Martin coefficient is determined by dividing two ratios the mean of highest concentration of phenol showing the growth in both tubes and lowest concentration preventing the growth divided by the same mean of, for the disinfectant under the test this is the observation of chick martin test with this much Concentration of phenol 2 percentage 1.8, 1.62 and 1.4 percentage concentration of phenol. And these are the different dilutions of test disinfectant 0 0.47, 0 0.41, 0 0.37 and 0.33. And this plus sign indicate the presence of microorganism and minus sign indicate the absence of microorganism due to killing of microorganism by that dilutions after 30 minutes of reaction time at a reaction temperature of 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. So for determining the Chick Martin coefficient we have to find out the two ratio phenol divided by disinfectant. This is the ratio of highest concentration of phenol showing the growth and lowest concentration preventing the growth. Here in both two there are two concentration of phenol which is preventing the growth that is 2 and 1.8. In that we have to select the lowest concentration of phenol preventing the growth that is 1.8 percentage plus and the highest concentration showing the growth here only one uh, sample is showing growth in both two that is 1.45 so there is no confusion so here 1.8 plus 1.4 divided by 2 that is the ratio of phenol now divided by the ratio of test disinfectant showing the same result here we have two concentrations of test disinfectant which will prevent the growth of microorganism 1.47 and 1.41. Out of this we have to select the lowest concentration of disinfectant inhibiting the growth that is 0.41 and highest concentration showing the growth out of this 0 0.37 and 0 0.33, 0 0.37 is the concentration which is showing highest concentration which is showing the growth of microorganism. So from this we can calculate the phenol coefficient 1.8 plus 1.45 divided by 2 that is the ratio of phenol divided by ratio of concentration which show growth lowest concentration preventing the growth and highest concentration showing the growth that is 4.41 plus 0.37 divided by 2 which is equal to 4.15. So this indicate this is 4.5 times powerful. Now other method for phenol coefficient test is US FDA method. In this 
we are using salmonella typhi and staphylococcus as test organism and reaction temperature is 37 degrees celsius and medium volume is 10 ml instead of 5 ml in rydal walker test and we are using diluent water and sampling interval at a time of 5 10 and 15 minutes now another test for phenol coefficient test is us association of official agricultural chemist test a or ac test in this this is similar to fda method but it is more flexible by using three different culture media normal nutrient growth or us modified fluidide fluid thioglycolate media and lithium media containing lecithin and surface active agent polysorbate 8 and here also we are using salmonella typhi and staphylococcus aureus so this is the table which is showing the difference between this all these four test of phenol coefficient this is the rydal walker test in this we will take 5 ml of medium and volume mixture is 5 ml and here only water is used as a diluent and test is organism is salmonella typhi and reaction temperature is 17 to 18 degrees celsius and sampling time is 2.5, 5, 7.5 and 10 minutes mm -hmm. and in case of FDA method we will take volume of 10 ml and reaction uh, mixture of 10 ml and water as diluent here we will use two uh, microorganism salmonella typhi and staphylococcus aureus at a reaction temperature of 37 degrees celsius but sampling time is 5 10 and 15 minutes in case of fda test and chick martin test volume is 10 ml and reaction volume is also for 5 ml and here we are using yeast suspension for presence of organic matters to study the effect of disinfectant in presence of organic matters and here we are using salmonella typhi and staphylococcus aureus as microorganism and 2 to 30 degree celsius the reaction temperature and sampling time is 30 minutes and AOAC test 10 ml medium and fire reaction mixture and water as diluent salmonella typhi and staphylococcus aureus as test organism 20 to 37 degree celsius as reaction temperature and 5 to 10 uh, sampling time so these are the different difference between different right phenol coefficient test phenol coefficient can be done by either uh, suspension test or by using surface filling test now coming to the surface filling test it is more realistic test for the disinfectant it involves the disinfectant treatment of a film of bacteria dried on the surface. So in this, the organism in a suspending agent containing organic matter such as protein are applied to a thin film on a surface like cover slip, stainless steel, plate, cylinder or filter paper disc etc. After appropriate time, the surface is incubated in a suitable media to observe the presence or absence of the growth and this can be done by use dilution test it is important that a disinfectant should still be effective when diluted for use and the AOAC recommended that the use of dilution of disinfectant should be at least as effective as 5 percentage phenol generally dilution of 20 times Phenol coefficient is satisfactory. For example, a disinfectant with phenol coefficient of 4 is would be 1 in 4 into 20 that is 1 in 80 dilution is effective. This method of calculation is unreliable where the concentration exponent of disinfectant differ from 5. And this case dilution can be calculated from the formula 2.5 into phenol coefficient into n minus 1 where n is the concentration exponent now coming to another method for evaluation of bactericidal action method of berry and p in this extinction time is not fixed and time to kill the microorganism at a fixed concentration is determined 
A standard suspension of E. coli is inoculated into several dilution of bacteriocyte. Immediately after the mixing, a fixed number of drop from each dilution is transferred to separate sterile tubes and then these tubes are returned to water bath at 20 degrees Celsius. Then the reaction mixture is allowed to continue for appropriate time after which growth is added and tubes are incubated and examined for growth. That is the method of Berry and P. Now coming to next method, nephlometric method. In this, nephlometer is used to estimate the survival of Salmonella typhi after exposure to the bacteriocyte. A reference survivor curve is obtained from the dilution of suspension containing 3, 2 and 0.75 percentage of original number in unit volume. The sample are removed from the reaction mixture into the tube of broth which are incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 5 hours. At the same time, the tube containing 3 dilutions of untreated organism are incubated under the exact same condition. Then the opacity of each tube is determined by using nephlometer and from the result of untreated organism, the reference curve is plotted and this is used to obtain the number of organism in treated tubes. Now coming to next method that is the counting method. Difficulty of determining endpoint precisely can be overcome by this method. Determination of viable count after the treatment with disinfectant will give more accurate information on the bactericidal effect which can be used for the comparison of death rate. This is used when several disinfectant concentration, several bacterial species and several temperature are used. Another test for bactericidal evaluation of disinfectant is Kelsey-Sykes method. In this, Staphylococcus aureus, Proteus vulgaris, E. coli and Pseudomonas aureogenosa is used as a test bacteria. And this test can be carried out in clear as well as dirty conditions. In both cases, the final concentration of bacterial cells should be about 10 raised to 9 per ml. The dirty condition can be simulated by use of yeast suspension or inactivated host cell. And the test procedure is, at 0 minute, we will inoculate 3 ml of disinfectant dilution with 1 ml of bacterial suspension in a broth containing yeast or serum and then we will shake it gently. And after the 8 minute from the above solution we will take 1 drop each to 5 tubes of liquid recovery media using a dropper pipette or five drop to a surface of a nutrient agar plate. Then after 10 minutes, we will add 1 ml of bacterial suspension to the original bacteriocyte bacteria reaction mixture prepared at the starting time. So total will, there will be 2 ml of microbial suspension. Now after 18 minutes, from the above mixture, we will take one drop each to five tubes of liquid recovery media or five drops to surface of nutrient agar plate. After 20 minutes, again we will add one ml of bacterial suspension to the original bacteriocidal bacterial reaction mixture prepared at the starting time. Now total there will be a three ml of microbial suspension. Now after 28 minutes, from the above mixture, again we will take one drop using dropper pipette to each five tubes of liquid recovery media or five drops to surface of nutrient agar plate. The samples are taken at 8, 18 and 28 minutes are incubated at 30 to 30, 32 degrees Celsius and the number of tubes showing growth or number of colonies or drop from the surface plate is recorded. Now the result can be interpreted by the disinfectant is satisfactory for use at initial concentration if 
no growth occur in two or more of five tubes of 18 minute sample or there are not more than five colonies from five drops on the agar plate this is another test for evaluation of disinfectant so that is all about the evaluation of disinfectant these are the some question from this portion write an essay on evaluation of disinfectant evaluation of bactericidal action of disinfectant write a note on rydal walker test write a note on chick martin test evaluation of bacteriostatic action of disinfectant hope it is clear thank you for watching this video